It's official. The car that powers itself, no fuel, no plug, no emissions, has just been approved for U.S. roads. A vehicle so advanced, it doesn't just challenge Tesla. It redefines what transportation means. This is Maxwell's self-powered car, the world's first vehicle that generates its own energy, and it's finally legal to drive in the United States. The moment that shook the automotive world. The announcement came quietly at first, a single press release from the U.S. Department of Transportation confirming that Maxwell's self-powered vehicle had passed all safety and environmental tests. But within hours, the Internet exploded. Hashtags like hashtag infinite car and hashtag Maxwell revolution started trending globally. Car manufacturers scrambled to understand how this was possible and how a small African inventor had achieved what billion-dollar corporations couldn't. Inside a warehouse in California's Mojave testing facility, a group of engineers gathered around a sleek, metallic blue prototype. The hum of its core, a deep, resonant vibration, could be felt through the floor. There were no wires, no charging ports, no visible batteries. Just a small metallic box beneath the hood glowed an almost unnatural pulse of blue energy, the MSED unit, the birth of the self-powered car. Years earlier, Maxwell Chikambutso, working in near obscurity, developed what he called a magnetic self-energy device. This wasn't a battery. It wasn't solar. It was something completely different, a system capable of converting electromagnetic waves from the environment into continuous motion energy. For years, his claims were dismissed. Critics called it impossible. Scientists said it violated basic physics. But Maxwell didn't stop. He refined it. He tested it. And eventually, he proved it. The car could run indefinitely, generating its own power as it moved. No plug, no recharge, no refuel. And now, that technology, once ridiculed, has been approved for use on American roads. The test drive that changed everything. In a live stream demonstration in Nevada, a single prototype was driven for 1,000 miles nonstop. The media expected a trick. They brought thermal cameras, radiation sensors, and electromagnetic detectors. But nothing unusual appeared. No hidden batteries. No external energy feeds. The car just kept going. And then came the twist. Halfway through the test, the MSCD device was disconnected. Yet the car continued to run. That's when Maxwell stepped forward and said calmly, You can disconnect it, but the energy field remains. Once it's active, it sustains itself. The crowd fell silent. Even the skeptics couldn't explain what they had just witnessed. The legal approval and the hidden battle. Behind closed doors, debates raged in Washington. Oil lobbyists called a threat to national energy stability. Car manufacturers demanded transparency. And Tesla, the world's EV leader, requested a full technical review. But after months of scrutiny, Maxwell's technology passed every federal and environmental standard. The U.S. Energy Commission released a short but powerful statement. This technology represents a new frontier in sustainable transportation. And just like that, the world's first self-powered car was officially legal in the United States. The revolution begins. Across Africa, people celebrated. In Harare, Zimbabwe, Maxwell's hometown, a massive crowd gathered as a convoy of MSED-powered vehicles drove silently through the streets, each emitting a faint blue glow from its energy core. Meanwhile, major automakers were already making moves. General Motors announced talks to license the technology. Toyota hinted at a hybrid integration project. And Tesla, perhaps the most surprising of all, reportedly opened private negotiations with Maxwell's team. The future of transportation, and possibly the future of energy itself, had just shifted. The power behind the device. So, how does it actually work? According to leaked patent documents, the MSED operates using a quantum magnetic induction system, a structure that continuously draws and amplifies natural electromagnetic resonance from the surrounding environment. Essentially, it creates a self-sustaining energy loop, one that powers not just a motor, but also auxiliary systems indefinitely. No emissions, no heat loss, no moving parts. A design so efficient, it challenges the very foundation of how we think energy works. And while the scientific community debates the physics, 
The real-world results are undeniable. The U.S. government's silent observation. While the world celebrated Maxwell's triumph, deep within a classified research facility in Arlington, Virginia, U.S. energy officials weren't cheering. They were analyzing. In a dimly lit conference room, several high-ranking officers watched the Nevada test footage on repeat. The car's motion data, energy readings, and heat signatures were being dissected frame by frame. There's no power draw. None, one of the analysts muttered. No thermal output beyond friction. This shouldn't be possible. A quiet tension filled the room. The man at the head of the table, a senior department of energy director, finally broke the silence. If this is real, it rewrites everything we know about power systems. We can't afford to let another nation take control of it first. That single sentence would set off a series of covert investigations, and eventually a race that stretched far beyond business. Elon Musk private meeting. Meanwhile, in Austin, Texas, Elon Musk was on a late-night video call with Tesla's top engineers. A live projection of the MSCD car hovered over the conference table in 3D. Elon leaned forward, eyes narrowing. So you're telling me this thing doesn't need charging ever? One of his engineers nodded. We've cross-checked every recording. It's not solar. It's not hydrogen. Whatever that core is, it creates a feedback energy loop. Musk's tone hardened. Get me Maxwell. The next morning, a private message was sent to Maxwell Chikambutso through a secure diplomatic channel. A request for collaboration, not competition. But the reply didn't come from Maxwell directly. It came from a newly formed MSED Energy Alliance, a coalition of African and Asian investors now managing the technology's rollout. Their response was polite, but clear. Tesla's welcome to learn, but not to own. The global energy shift. Within weeks, the ripple effects were staggering. Oil prices dropped 12% as investors began to pull capital from petroleum sectors. Renewable energy companies scrambled to adapt to the new reality. And small startup factories across Africa began constructing MSED modules for electric bikes, drones, and even household generators. For the first time, the world saw Africa not as an energy consumer, but as a producer of limitless power. In Kenya, engineers tested MSED-powered irrigation systems that ran nonstop. In Nigeria, entire rural towns lit up with self-sustaining energy grids. And in South Africa, a group of students modified an old electric train to run purely on Maxwell's system, without a single charge. Everywhere the technology appeared, industries trembled. The backlash. But power, real power, never changes the world quietly. Leaked documents began surfacing online. Oil consortiums losing billions, lobbying to stall international approval of MSCD vehicles. In one tense meeting between global energy leaders... An American delegate warned, If Maxwell's technology spreads without regulation, every oil company on earth goes bankrupt in five years. To which a Chinese representative calmly replied, Perhaps it's time energy belongs to everyone, not corporations. That statement went viral. And suddenly, Maxwell's invention wasn't just about cars. It was about freedom, the deal that shocked the world. As attention grew... Whispers began circulating about a historic agreement, one that could redefine the global energy order. Under absolute secrecy, representatives from China and several African nations met in Nairobi. The agenda, securing long-term rights to the MSED technology before Western powers could monopolize it. By dawn, the deal was signed, a trillion-dollar partnership merging Chinese infrastructure with African innovation. And just hours later, Chinese state media confirmed it. Beijing has secured exclusive development rights for MSED-based transportation and power solutions. It was official. Maxwell's invention had become the center of a new global alliance, and the U.S. had been outpaced. Elon Musk responds. When news of the deal broke, Elon Musk posted a single cryptic tweet. Infinite energy means infinite responsibility. Minutes later... Tesla's stock dipped by 4%, but insiders knew Musk wasn't giving up. Behind closed doors, he'd already greenlit a secret division within Tesla Energy, Project Quantum Pulse, a rumored initiative to develop a parallel energy loop based on magnetic resonance. 
it wasn't about competition anymore. It was survival. Because for the first time, Tesla, the leader of electric innovation, wasn't leading. Maxwell was. Maxwell's vision. While the world argued over patents and profits, Maxwell himself remained quiet. In an exclusive interview from his modest lab in Zimbabwe, he finally spoke. This technology was never meant to make anyone rich. It was meant to make the world free. He paused, adjusting a small prototype device glowing on his desk. If you can power a city without burning a drop of fuel, then you can change humanity. The camera zoomed in on the miniature MSED unit, silent, glowing, alive. Energy, he said softly, should belong to everyone. The global rollout. The announcement came at sunrise, live from Nairobi, broadcast over 120 countries simultaneously. Behind Maxwell stood a sleek, silver car, the final production model of the MSED-1, the world's first self-powered vehicle. This, Maxwell said, his voice steady but filled with emotion, is not just a car. It's a declaration of independence, from oil, from pollution, from limitation. Cameras flashed. The crowd roared. When the car began to move, not with the hum of a battery, but with the silence of infinity, people felt they were witnessing something divine. No charging port. No exhaust. No sound. Only the whisper of air as it glided forward effortlessly. The world was stunned. In less than an hour, orders began flooding in. Governments, corporations, and individuals all wanted a piece of the future. The MSED. One became more than a car. It became a symbol of hope for billions. The power struggle. But while the world celebrated, a storm brewed behind closed doors. In Washington, D.C., an emergency meeting was called. In the heart of Beijing, engineers raced to mass-produce MSED modules. In Europe, lobbyists scrambled to protect collapsing energy interests. The old world, built on oil, batteries, and control, was breaking apart. Yet amidst the chaos, something extraordinary happened. Independent scientists confirmed what many doubted. Maxwell's technology worked. It was clean, consistent, and scalable. No radiation. No harmful byproducts. The impossible had become real. And for the first time in modern history, power, both electrical and political, began shifting southward toward Africa. The dawn of infinite energy. Months passed. Cities began to change. Electric grids that once relied on fossil fuels were replaced by compact MSED hubs. Silent cubes that powered everything from homes to skyscrapers. Airports converted their fleets to self-powered aircraft. Cargo ships crossed oceans without refueling. The global economy adapted, and for once, it adapted for good. Children in rural villages studied under lights powered by infinite energy. Hospitals in remote areas operated nonstop, without fear of blackouts. And for the first time in over a century, the earth began to heal. The Monument of Light. A year later, in Harare, a massive monument was unveiled, the beacon of humanity, a shimmering tower powered entirely by Maxwell's energy system. At its base, a plaque read, to those who believe in the impossible and built it. Maxwell stood before it quietly, watching as the structure illuminated the night sky with pure white light. Reporters surrounded him, microphones outstretched. One asked, how does it feel knowing you've changed the world? He smiled softly. It wasn't me who changed it. It was a belief that we could. He turned away, looking up at the tower, glowing endlessly, without wires, without fuel, without limits. The world, he said, finally runs on hope. 